So um, next we have uh, Matt Inchenthron of uh, Couchbase. Hi, good evening. So uh, thanks very much. Uh, really quickly, um, I don't know how many of you have heard of Couchbase. Um, the uh, company was created in January of this year effectively, but it's not actually a new player to the stage, just really quickly to give you an overview. Uh, Couchbase is a merger of a, of a company named Membase and a company named CouchOne. And CouchOne was really mainly uh, the CouchDB committers, the, a lot of the main guys behind CouchDB. So it's technology that's been around for quite a while. And so what we're in the process of is uh, thinking about how can we do some of this stuff a little differently. So what I want to talk to you about really briefly is uh, something called Uncle. And realistically, if we all kind of step back and think about NoSQL and the NoSQL term itself, chances are, if you think about it, the problem with SQL, with, uh, with the problem isn't really with SQL. The problem is with um, not being able to scale these systems. The problem is with not being able to scale your traditional relational database. The problem is with uh, not being able to express the kind of structure that you typically want to. And so uh, we've been thinking about this for a little while. Damian Katz, uh, our CTO, the, the uh, original creator of CouchDB, and Richard Hip, the uh, author of uh, SQLite, uh, just trivia for those who didn't know. I always thought it was SQLite, but then I uh, heard Richard Hip talk quite a bit in a conference and he kept saying SQLite, so apparently I was wrong the whole time. Um, so Damien and Richard started talking about how can, we, how can we take the good things of the expressive nature of needing to uh, extract information from the system through a query language, but make sure that it's not specific to any one system and not necessarily a relational system. So not describing relational algebra, but instead approaching the problem a little differently. And out of that, we've now created something called Uncle. Uncle is not uh, an implementation. It is an open specification that we're looking for collaboration on. And I just want to give you a couple of quick examples of that. So, Uncle, um, you can call it, you know, the the uh, unquery language, or, or uh, there are a couple different uh, uh, ways you can backronym that term. Uh, but just to give you an an example, instead of creating a database or tables or something like that, you just create a collection. I have a collection of stuff. That collection might be tables. Uh, for instance, R uh, Richard Hip wants to apply this to SQLite, uh, and equally, we would uh, expect to apply this to couch base, but it could be applied by any other NoSQL player to whatever their system is. Uh, if you want to insert stuff into a collection, that's really just, uh, it's by design similar to SQL, so it's familiar to application developers. So I can insert, as you see on the slide here, ABC, value one, two, three, four. Uh, I can insert arbitrary kinds of things into the system. Uh, the bottom one there that you see is inserting into ABC a value that actually is JSON. And so with that, we can have these really complex, potentially uh, structures that uh, have uh, attributes that are deeply nested inside that document. Uh, other examples are that you might do things like an upsert. And as you see there on the right-hand side, update where you're setting ABC. Uh, so if it doesn't exist, it's going to automatically get created. And then when you go back to select it back out of the system, you can select that back. You'll, you'll get the result back from the system. Another example of the kind of thing that you might want to do with uh, an, a, a system through a query language like this is be able to add arbitrary fields to an existing document or a row or what have you, whatever you want to call the thing. Uh, and there's an example here of that. So in the lower right, you see an example of updating and adding fields to an existing document or record inside the system. So I'm, in this case, I'm doing a, a, a set ABC, uh, adding this is a test. And if you see, if I select back from ABC, I would get that new record back from that system. So these were all actually uh, examples that were demonstrated recently at CouchConf uh, last month. Uh, Richard Hip has actually implemented a fair amount of this and you know, a fork of some sort off of uh, SQLite. So briefly, who's uh, behind this? Um, well, hopefully everyone in this room. Uh, so right now we're trying to find out what are the kinds of things that we want to express. There's a site called unclespec.org. Um, we'd like you to have a look over it. There's a, a, a Google group a mailing list. We want to find out what are the kinds of things that people want to do, and there's been a good discussion on that on the list already. Couchbase is obviously behind it. 
Uh, SQLite is obviously behind it with Damien and Richard, of course. Uh, and then recently, Microsoft's expressed interest, and we've had uh, uh, some good discussions with Microsoft about how they may actually be able to apply this to their systems. And even uh, Basho with Reoc has expressed interest in, in maybe looking at uh, what would happen with SQLite. And we think this makes a lot of sense. If, if for instance, we were to look at uh, things like Cassandra recently has introduced its own uh, query language, and we believe that it makes a lot more sense to introduce a query language that's, that many people can potentially use across multiple systems. Thanks much. Great.